warm days and ample rain bring wildflowers to every state. And of course, it's wonderful to go out and spend a weekend enjoying these wildflowers. Don't overlook the woods right in your backyard or the forests around you. Certainly the local nature centers and areas that, that have a lot of wildflowers are just a beautiful place to visit. We're in the middle of one here that was established 50 years ago by J.W. Singer. Let me just tell you some of his suggestions if you're interested in getting a wildflower garden started. First of all, you've got to have a semi-shade location. The, most of the plants will not prefer a hot, dry, sunny spot. So if you've got an area with large shade trees, that's the best way to start. If you want to start with the natives, look at the dogwoods, the sarvis, so some of the hollies. Certainly the sweet gum is a very beautiful tree. There are lots of native plants that blend right in here. Then you want an acidic soil that will stay moist. You're going to have to incorporate some organic matter. Mr. Singer actually used pine bark, and it has decayed and worked itself into the soil to where it's a very well-drained soil that stays very moist at this point. Remember that you can't go to just any woods and start digging wildflowers. Use your local nursery as a source of these wildflowers. Many of them are available in potted containers. Now certainly if there's an area that's going to be destructed for a road or something like that, you can get a permit from the forestry department to dig these and bring them into your yard. I'm Mary Witt, Extension Horticulture Specialist, UK College of Agriculture for 18 News.